Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about the mouse functions in Karate UI. So let's quickly go to the documentation here and we will go to this mouse function that is available here and let's see what all capabilities are available here. Okay, so now this mouse function basically returns an instance of mouse on which you can change certain actions, right? So say for example, drag and drop or you want to mouse over, then all of that is possible through the mouse function okay so basically very common need is to move or mouse over over the elements say for example there will be some websites wherein if you mouse over then the menu appears right so in those sort of scenarios this function is going to really help you now mouse dot move right so basically mouse you can chain with other functions for example mouse dot move mouse dot uh, so mouse dot move dot click right so there are multiple functions that you can change or methods that you can change along with the mouse movement okay so if you are not using click or up with the with the mouse right then at last you have to make sure that you are using go at the end okay and i'll show you all of that please note that this is not very foolproof option and there are issues in karate framework using the mouse operation so in case you are having issues i'll also cover in advanced section of the karate tutorial about using the javascript basically so if you'll see here this is the stack overflow page right wherein if we have to use drag and drop okay then there are issues and here is the answer from the creator himself so peter thomas uh, is uh, the karate ui and karate uh, framework creator so what uh, he's recommending is that drag and drop is quite hard to get right so recommending doing it via javascript right so anything absolutely on the browser you can do it via javascript so basically we'll understand if you are if you have to use drag and drop or any other functionality we'll also understand javascript so in case this mouse function doesn't work then you can rely on the other aspect that we'll be discussing in advanced section so as of now let's see the mouse over and other functions are absolutely fine or working fine okay so let me go to eclipse and i will copy this scroll element dot feature file and let me paste it here and i will say mouse functions dot feature let me open mouse functions dot feature and what i'll do is i'll close this one and here i'll be opening this particular website training.rcvacademy.com and let's see if we can mouse over on some of the elements on this particular website okay so here if you see here if i hover over this particular get access button right you see you can see the color changes okay so let's try to mouse over on this particular web element with the mouse function so if i right click and inspect this particular web element then we'll write the locator so i will simply say the locator for this one is basically the so let's start with this is an anchor right and the text the text on this button is get access so we'll simply say get access and close okay so now you can see that it is being highlighted right so this is an anchor tag and uh, the text is get access okay so this is the x path for this particular web element now we have to mouse over this particular web element using the mouse function so how we are going to do it so basically here once we are on the page the next thing is we'll use the here i can say and delay right i can say either star or and delay and then i can say and let's see what the function is let me paste the x path here so here you can see that in the documentation i can move the mouse to the particular coordinates right so if i specify the coordinates x and y so basically this is on the x-axis and the y-axis so if i specify these coordinates and then say dot go the dot go is important if you're not using click or up okay so you have to make sure that you are using dot go so this will go to that particular coordinate or mouse movement will happen to that coordinates you can specify the locator right so we have got the locator right because it's hard to see at what coordinates this particular button is right so it's always advisable to use the locator okay so we know the locator now in order to go ahead to this particular button we have to say mouse dot move and then provide the locator and then dot go because we, we are not clicking on the button at the moment we'll simply say dot 
go okay first we'll say dot go and then we'll check click as well okay so here i'll say mouse dot move okay pretty simple right so mouse dot move i'm moving my mouse so mouse and then move where so basically it's kind of read it like this so mouse this is the mouse right so the icon move to this particular button okay and then i can say click right so if i'm not using click then i have to say mouse dot move dot go then it will come to this particular button okay so that's how you will be able to pick things really quickly okay so i'll say mouse dot move and then provide the locator where my mouse needs to move right so i need to specify where i need to go if i just say mouse dot move and don't provide anything it's kind of you you are not providing direction there right so you have to specify that and then i'll say go right so if i don't say go it can be possible only if if you do if you are using click or up okay if you're using click or up at the last then you don't need to provide go but otherwise you have to provide go okay so let's quickly go back and remove this six path there so now this should work absolutely fine so let me put some delay after that as well so i can say and delay for another five seconds so we can see the mouse movement and the color change is happening properly okay so here let me change it to mouse movement okay and i'll say this is mouse movement test and mouse movement testing okay so let me right click run as cucumber feature and let's see that it works absolutely fine as we expect it to work so it's opening the website it has opened the website now you can see the get access button the color please keep a note on the color and you can see the color has changed so basically that's where the mouse over has happened and after five second wait you can see the test got successfully completed okay so if i go to the target and let me refresh and go to the karate reports and summary.html so you can see that it's all green here and this particular step mouse dot move to that particular locator has ran successfully okay so this is how you are going to do mouse over all right now mouse over will be required very frequently if you have some sort of a menu wherein you have to mouse over and then the sub menu appears right so in those sort of scenarios you will use this particular step and then if required you have to again mouse over to the sub menu item right so depending on what sort of application functionality is you will be using the mouse function okay now the next thing here is about the click right so i can directly click as well so I, here i'm just moving the mouse but then if i just want to move to the button and simply click it i simply need to remove go and then simply say click all right so what i can do here is i can simply copy the same code here and instead of go i can say click so what this click will do is it will basically first the mouse will move to this particular location and then will click on that particular button okay now, now the next thing is around drag and drop right so this is where i have tried a couple of times but it's not straightforward and doesn't work so that's where i found this particular page karate ui drag and drop so we'll be covering that with the javascript in advanced tutorials of the karate okay so don't worry about this part then there are a couple of more things right so basically you can then also move and then submit and click right so you can chain multiple actions there okay and then moving mouse is a common task so there are shortcuts as well so you can mouse dot click so basically you simply can say mouse and then specify the locator where you want to move and then directly click right so at the moment what we are doing here we are saying mouse and then dot move and then specifying the locator right so i can also say something like this so i can simply say mouse and then within mouse itself mouse function itself i can specify the locator where this mouse needs to move and then we can click right so this this line is the shortcut of this line okay so both will do same thing and then similarly mouse moving at the 
coordinates and then dot go right so you don't have to use move all the time so because mouse is a common task so there are shortcuts right so if you can simply specify the locator and then similarly wait until enable the button and then dot mouse dot click right so these are some of the shortcuts then there is a double click function as well so you can double click say for example you want to specify the locator and then simply on the locator you can say double click right so just double click function is similar to click and that will double click on the locator okay so this is about the mouse function in karate ui uh, if there is something that doesn't work basically click and drag and then maybe double click also might have some issue but then double click is very rarely used so i'll be covering all of that using the javascript solution that is being provided here okay so let's quickly go here and now let's run the mouse movement using the using this approach okay and then we'll use the second approach okay so let me cut this here and so first only the mouse movement will happen and then it will click on the button okay so mouse movement and then click will happen so let me run this right click run as cucumber feature so open the browser open the website and first you will see the mouse over the color will change of the get access button it has changed now right and then it will get disabled and you can see now the error message name field is required that is happened because it has clicked on this button right so it has moved the mouse and then clicked and that's where the error appeared okay now there is a shortcut for this because mouse over is very common so i can remove this and instead of this you can use this directly mouse and then direct click right so i can remove this particular step and run it so you can see if i go to the report first let's see the report so all of that is good right so with the mouse dot move dot click or mouse and then the locator dot click directly okay which is in this case i'm doing all right so if i right click run cucumber feature so it should run exactly same way the behavior will be same the only thing is i've changed the format to a little shorter so open the browser just open the website now you can see the get access button the color should change with the mouse over yes and then at the bottom you will see once the click happens you will see name field is required the pop-up right in the red color so that happened because of this short cut that we used mouse on the locator and then directly clicking on it okay so this is briefly all about the mouse function in karate ui okay don't worry about the stuff that you find issues with i'll cover the javascript concept so you will be much comfortable in the advanced usage of the karate framework in case you are facing issues with any of these methods so that will be absolutely enough for you to go ahead and use it in any of the scenarios okay so that's all for this tutorial on mouse movement in karate ui i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching